what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today just want to uh talk about a day in the life just give you guys a rundown of the month of january and everything that went went on in the month both good and bad uh, there was a lot of a uh, lot of change in the month of january that uh that has set us up i think to maintain and actually accomplish our goals for this year for those who haven't been on the channel before i launched the channel at the beginning of the year with our 2021 vision board that kind of laid out 15 um single family innovate not innovation but single family renovation projects that we're looking to do and then two multifamily um acquisitions this year and so we're well on our way for that um early on in the month of january we actually sold a home that we had closed on last last year and we did the renovations got on the market had an fha buyer come on and we closed the deal and that was another video you guys can check out but we we subsequently made forty three thousand five hundred dollars in less than 100 days on that on that project which was really good and we also we bought another one so we have a house there in the panama city area we are in the process of finalizing the renovation yes it's already done and uh, we're going to make a decision whether or not we're going to move forward with adding it to the rental portfolio or if we will be selling it to another retail seller, putting it on the market and listing it. So that's a decision we always make. We always have multiple exit strategies. So whether we add it to the portfolio or sell it on the MLS. Uh, kicking off the biggest biggest thing that we were really excited about, we got two additional contracts during the month of January. One project uh, came from our online with our website with SEO, uh, search engine optimization. He found us on Google and reached out to us with his uh, his you know his property and he had owned it original owner 35 years needed updating and was ready to sell and we offered him a cash offer that worked well for him and uh, it was a, it was a good opportunity for both of us and the second one our our new virtual assistant worked out with uh, some of his efforts on the lead generation front with uh, locating a real a new realtor that we're bringing on actually establishing a partnership with was able to bring us a deal found a deal that was subsequently on the same street uh, for the home that we sold uh, earlier in the month on Pridgen street so that was really cool so we already knew our comps we knew what it would sell for the value would be and uh, it worked out really well with getting that under contract and so talking about my assistant hired a new assistant so julian is fresh on new to the team doing a phenomenal job um, he came on last month, and at the same time, I changed our CRM system. So our customer relation management system, how we manage our lead generation flow all goes through there. So with all the mechanisms that we use to generate uh, motivated sellers looking to sell a home, we leveraged that system. And so it was a lot of, uh, for a couple of weeks, it was a lot of us working hand in hand to understand the system, how we do business, just the thought process when we're on the phone, talking to our potential clients, letting people know the value that we bring, why they should work with us when they're looking to sell their home for cash, and just understanding the whole flow of the funnel. Once somebody shows interest, we we work with them, we set an appointment, we get the deal under contract, and then we close, and just how that process flows and how to make that seamless as possible. So he's been doing great. Glad to have him on the team and uh, looking for great things to go um, as we go forward. Uh, with having him here and then um i guess on a down note we had our first eviction um that came out the apartment um the property management company was was it's lean they leaning forward on that that's that's their their um their thing now that they're managing but uh that was a down the first eviction that i ever had to deal with and uh, it was the it was the right thing to do uh, i was on the fence a little bit up front um just with you know being property manager knowing his story you know been helping them and then to the point where is that uh, a, a toxic individual can ruin a community in the apartment. And uh, you have to lean on the people you put in a position to lead. You have to lean on their their advice and their hands-on experience there in the situation. And uh, and we're moving forward. And, uh, you know, and on to big things. So there was a lot of a networking that happened last month behind the scenes just with brokers here in the uh, Northern Virginia area and in Panama City investors all over the board 
um, experienced investors, uh, also new investors. Talk to a, a few new investors looking to get started in real estate and having some good conversations on ways that they can find out what they actually want to do in real estate and then start taking those actions to accomplish their goals. So that happened and then uh, was, I was a guest on two podcasts last month as well too. So we'll see those coming out here sometime in the near future. So that's always cool to just talk real estate with other successful investors that are providing value out there in this, in the space to, uh, to just help people understand what it is that, that this real estate investing is about. And then also we launched uh, the new DMV, DC, Maryland, Virginia, multifamily real estate investing group on Facebook. So definitely check that out and uh, make sure that you guys subscribe to this channel and hit the thumbs up button, but also look at that Facebook group. It's all things apartment investing, both active and passive investors, just educating people on how you analyze apartments, um, the markets that we're interested in, the brokers that we work with in those areas, and just a, a community of people that's looking to grow and understand apartments and the investment cycle that goes into that when you're looking to ver diversify your portfolio outside of stocks and add in cash flow and real estate, what that looks like when you leverage uh, apartments, uh, mobile homes, and some self storage as well too in there in that space. So a lot of things happen in January, a lot of good, and we're looking forward to February and continuing to keep it rolling. So uh, we will see you guys on the next video. Thanks.